Hi, it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video I'm going to show you how to fix something which is really annoying if you are using one of these. Yes, it is a USB portable monitor. Now, if you're using this as a multiple display item on your desktop PC, and you're finding that because potentially yours has got touchscreen built in, then when you touch the screen, you expect the things actually on the screen to move, but instead it's actually controlling things on your other monitor, which is actually really super frustrating. And also sometimes if you plug one of these into the USB ports and then you actually plug it into a different USB port, Windows in its logic just forgets that it was ever plugged in and you have to go through the rigmarole again. So on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to actually configure this. So your touchscreen will work as a touchscreen, but not affect your Windows desktop and also where to find the program and also potentially how to create a shortcut for easy and quick access. So with all that said, let's head over to the computer and take a closer look. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I'm not too sure what angles you're seeing of this. I'm trying to record both screens and also the desktop so you can see what's going on. So yeah, potentially this could look a little bit weird, but anyway, so this is my setup. So I've got my main monitor here. This is my 27 inch thermal tape monitor. And on the side here, just mounted to this bit of desk, I've got my portable USB monitor, not very portable, but anyway, so the USB cable goes through, it plugs into the computer. You get the general idea. So if I want to uh, drag things across, I can do that, all that kind of stuff. Usual type of setup. Normally, when I plug this in for the first time, the actual screen itself, this one, is the one that gets controlled. So I think at the moment it's actually okay because I've set it up yet, so I can move that around, that's absolutely fine. But that isn't normally what happens. So in order to make it so that the right monitor works, you have to run something called the tablet PC setup. So if you go into the sidebar there and type in tablet PC, generally you won't get tablet PC settings. You used to, but it doesn't always come up. So what you need to do is actually, actually you try apps. Yeah, no, tablet PC is not gonna come up. So if you get this command here, so this shell command or the shell string rather, I'll put this in the video description. So if you copy and go down to run, and click on that and just paste it into the bottom there, into the run command, it'll come up and it'll come up with the tablet PC settings. So it is actually there, it's actually hidden in the control panel. And actually, let's see if we can do that. So if we do the control panel and we'll view all it should be in here somewhere so if we try type in a tablet so yeah tablet pc settings so it is there so you might want to uh, create a shortcut and i'll say you want to put it on desktop so there you go you can create a shortcut to it sometimes it's just really difficult to find so again that string will be in the video description so you can use the run command or you can do it from there but anyway actually how to configure your monitor so click on setup and you've got the two screens, both illuminated with the white. So it says, tap this screen with a single finger to identify it as a touch screen. If this is not the tablet PC screen, press enter to move to the next screen. So if you have multiple screens, it will cycle through the various screens that you've got. So this isn't the one, so we need to press enter. And now on this screen, which you probably just about be able to see, it says tap this screen with a single finger to identify it as the touch screen. So just a touch there, and that is it. So now, we want to, we can move these windows around, do all that kind of stuff, drag it over, etc. etc. So you get the general idea. That is how to do it. It is a little bit of a faff, and again, I would strongly suggest having a shortcut somewhere on your desktop or down on the taskbar. So if you are unplugging and replugging quite frequently, then you've got it available when you need it. So there you go, there is how to set up your USB portable monitor on your Windows PC. It used to be a little bit easier. Sometimes that tablet PC configuration just appears. Sometimes it goes away. Windows 11 and Windows 10 for that matter do work in weird and wonderful ways, but at least in the video description here, there is the string there, so you can copy and paste that or you can save it onto your desktop, do whatever you wanna do. Hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, smash the like button. If you wanna see more content on this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and also that chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video, or this video again when you forget the command. Thanks for watching.